Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. I'm really excited about today's video. The One Wheel XR, talking about it, my top five favorite things. Honestly, it's been my new favorite toy. Uh, let's just get into it because I'm excited to go ride it after I'm done filming this video. So instead of just doing another review on the One Wheel, which I'm sure there's a ton out there, I wanted to mention the top five favorite things I love about the One Wheel XR. And so my first favorite thing about it is just simply how much fun it is. I did not realize literally cruising around on a one wheel would be so much fun, especially in just like a regular old residential neighborhood. I found myself doing it for hours and just not wanting to stop simply cruising around. And it's funny because a little backstory, I used to be a skateboarder in high school. That was actually like my first true passion. That was before filmmaking, photography, all of that. And so I wanted to be a professional skateboarder when I grew up, that, that didn't happen. One of the things that sucked was I had an ankle injury where I actually couldn't ride a skateboard anymore. And so when I got back onto this, it kind of reminded me of just how I would love to cruise on a skateboard, whether it was just around my neighborhood, around town. And so the fact that you can cruise anywhere with no effort and longer periods of time, it's just such a win for me. Number two definitely has to be the freedom of getting to explore, you know, everything around you that you probably never have. Like, I drive up and down this neighborhood all the time. This is where I live. This is like the end of it. And I've never been in this area, never seen some of these things around here. So just the fact that you can ride around and explore new things, new areas, it's really cool and just super freeing. Finally, some nice shade. The best time to ride the one wheel has definitely been the morning and evening time. Otherwise, it is way too hot. Uh, and I'm starting to get like a hat tan. It's kind of hilarious. So along with just being able to cruise around in your neighborhood on streets and pavement, you can go off-roading with this thing. I was okay and totally happy with just cruising around on a skateboard on streets, pavements, just driveways, whatever. But the fact that you can just, you know, veer off the street and go into, go through grass, dirt, puddles, whatever. And disclaimer though, you can't go that fast because I'm gonna show you a little clip where I almost ate it. You have to be careful because when you're going kind of fast, you don't see if there's bumps or dips in like the dirt. And so be careful because otherwise you'll fly off of it. Like you just saw, a bump or a hole could come out of nowhere and just throw you off the board. So look, that was going too fast and that would have really sucked with this big setup. So be mindful of that. I think that's enough off-roading for today. Uh, it's starting to get dark now, so just gonna head on home. My fourth favorite thing about the one wheel is just the fact of how easy it is to use. A lot of other electric skateboards, you have to use a remote or something like that, but the fact that this has two controls, you lean forward to go forward and you lean backwards to go backwards. It just feels really natural whenever you're riding around and you wanna slow down, so you're gonna lean back or you wanna accelerate. You're gonna lean forward to pick up speed, but again, you just have to be careful and watch where you're going because if you see a bump, you might just hit it and then you don't want that to happen. So my fifth favorite thing about one wheel has to be simply the battery life and just how it works in itself. The fact that you can cruise around up to 12 to 18 miles is ridiculous. Just yesterday, I was out one wheeling for about an hour and a half and I think I covered 6.5 miles uh, because it tells you all that information in the app, which is again, super handy. It tells you battery life, different ride modes, how your one wheel is doing. That's pretty cool. And also the fact that you can go up to 19 miles per hour. You're gonna pick up some speed right here. Woo! That was tight. It's probably super windy. This is probably not the best spot to talk. 
kind of ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, you're riding on one big wheel, cruising on a skateboard, going up to 19 miles an hour. Because whenever you're cruising and you have the app open, it tells you how fast you're going. And so of course, I'm always testing to see how fast I can go whenever I hit like a stretch of road. And I think I hit up, yeah, I think I got up to like 18 miles per hour. And then one of the things that the one wheel does is it kind of pushes back on you when it thinks that you're going too fast or it's like the most that it can handle, which is again, incredibly smart because otherwise people like me would just freaking haul it and then probably eat it. So I appreciate that. I think it's so funny because whenever I cruise by pretty fast or just in general, people are kind of like, give me this look. Like, what are you? But those are pretty much my top five favorite things about the one wheel. Seriously, so stoked this isn't sponsored in any way. And uh, disclaimer, I don't actually own it. This is my friend's one wheel and I've been dying to test it out and I'm sold on it. But now that brings me to a couple of drawbacks why I actually myself haven't purchased one yet because it is quite the investment. It does retail for a price of $17.99, but they have a solution if that is way too high of a price tag because they have the one wheel pint. I haven't gotten to test this guy out, but it's basically a smaller version of the One Wheel XR for half the price. But I wonder if it's half the fun. A few other drawbacks I would have to just say simply is the weight of the One Wheel, which makes sense because everything you're getting in it, the battery life, the motor, all packed in that is gonna be you know pretty hefty. And so I think it does weigh 27 pounds. So yeah, that does make it kind of heavy, especially because of how big and bulky it is. Whenever you pick it up by the handle, it does feel a little awkward, but they also have a front handle, so it feels more natural like a skateboard. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That pretty much wraps up my five favorite things about the One Wheel XR. And this is only me having it for like, the first week. I'm pretty sure if I had this now for like six months, it honestly would probably just become part of my daily routine. So leave a like if you enjoyed, comment down your thoughts. I'd love to hear if you have a one wheel and other thoughts about it. And also uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I would love for you guys to be a part of my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Time to do a little bit of editing. Gonna be here with my kid all the time. Still can't believe I'm gonna be a dad. What?